Well, what will population health look like? Well, I could think of a couple of great scenarios. So instant access online to all kinds of registries about specific clinical conditions, populations of patients. We could sort this by clinical condition, zip code, uh, ethnicity, place where we get our care. So lots of amazing information that we can benchmark locally, regionally, and nationally at the touch of a button. That certainly would be very exciting to look forward to. Uh, two, lots of new technology we can't even think about today, but I'm not really impressed with uh, technology inside the walls of the hospital. I mean technology in the home. Technology, telehealth, take my Blackberry and communicate with me all the time about my diet, my blood pressure, my cholesterol level, my level of exercise. I think this is going to be standard operating procedure. We're going to harness the power of the internet and our online constant connectivity and the constant conversation to make healthcare in 20 years from now look nothing like what we've got today. I think three patients are going to play a much greater role in their own care. They're going to have to fork over more money. If you really want that MRI or CAT scan or whatever we're going to call it in two decades, sure, you could have it, but here's the additional fee. And four, sort of the flip side of three, I'd like to see us rewarded for good behavior. I've worked very hard to stay at an appropriate body mass index. I'd like to get rewarded for it. I've worked very hard to never smoke and to exercise and to wear a darn seatbelt. I ought to get a break, economically speaking, for my good behavior. We're going to have to deal with the genetic issues and predisposition to certain diseases, but clearly, if we can make it work for auto insurance, we ought to make it be able to work for health insurance.